In my world, there are people in chains and we can ride them like ponies. <laughs> you want to get back there? Yeah. So do I. Wow! This is creepy. That's exactly you, Will. Every detail. Except for you're not being a dominatrix, as far as we know. Oh, right. Me and Oz play Mistress of Pain every night. <laughs> Did anyone else just go to a scary visual place? Oh, yeah. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Thanks for clicking on this video today. I want to watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Season 3, Episode 16, entitled Doppelgangland. Well, a doppelganger is a, your counterpart, copy, someone that looks like you. It'd be cool if we see some, um, you know, copies of our main characters. <laughs> sort of like a Star Trek mirror universe type scenario. But other than that, I have no idea. But we do know that Faith went, last we saw Faith went to join up with the mayor to work with him. And so that's not good. And, you know, she kind of decided to come back. I mean, I guess, you know, the new watcher was going to take her all the way to England and have her stand trial and crap like that. But she didn't. She saved Buffy's life at, in the end, and then, but then she went and joined up with the mayor. So I don't know. That's kind of all a mess. We don't really know. We'll have to just see how that pans out. It's kind of unpredictable. Yeah, but that's where we're at. So for the last couple of episodes, you know, they had killed the mayor's assistant. She had killed her ac accidentally, you know, and uh, I guess we kind of dealt with that last time. So, it's not really resolved, though, so we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, let's just get started. Oops. Let's just get started. <laughs> um, like, subscribe, comment. If you like full reactions, link to my Patreon is down below. And let's do it. Your powers were a gift of the lower beings. You have proved unworthy of them. I was robbed of them. By your carelessness. For a thousand years, I wielded the powers of the wish. I brought ruin to the heads of unfaithful men. I was feared and worshipped across the mortal globe. And now I'm stuck at Sunnydale High. <laughs> and I'm flunking math. This is no concern of ours. Nice. We'll live our mortal life and die. Give me another chance. You can fold the fabric of time, send me back to that place, and I'll change it. I won't fail again. Uh -oh. Do you have any idea how boring 12th graders are? I'm getting my power center back, and if you won't help me, then by the pestilent gods, I will find someone who will. Wow. Oh, Willow? The Watcher Council shrink is heavy into tests. He's got tests for everything. Neat. Thanks. It's all about emotional control. Plus, obviously, magic. Hey, you want to go to the espresso pump and get sugared up on mochas? Well, I'll do some laps. How come the sudden calisthenics? Aren't you sort of naturally buff buff? Well, I, I want to do better than Faith. Still very shallow. Competition is natural and healthy. Plus, you'll definitely ace her on the psych test. I know Faith's not going to be on the cover of Sanity Fair, mm. but she had it rough. Different circumstances, that could be me. No way. Some people just don't have that in them. Look, I'm sorry. Except that's kind of like what she was like. No, it's okay. No, really, we should. Her doppelganger. Oh, uh, well. Oh. Emotional control. I'm working on it. Ah. Interesting. Willow Rosenberg, despite her unsavory associations, represents the pinnacle of academic achievement at Sunnydale High. Percy West represents a devastating fast break and 50% from behind the three-point line. I'm not sure I understand the marriage part. You got the brains. He's got the fast break. It's a perfect match. You want us to breed? I want you to tutor him. Percy is flunking history. Nothing seems to be able to motivate him. Hey, I'm challenged. We need a winning year, especially after last year's debacle with the swim team. Can't have our point guard benched. So... You're going to take on a little teaching job. Well, I have a lot of work of my own. You've got a letter of acceptance from every university with a stamp. It's time to give something back to the community. I know you want to help your school out here. Ask me how I know. How do you? I just know. 
<laughs> Sorry, threatened you. Wasn't exactly anything he said. It was all in his eyes. I mean, there was some nostril work as well, but mostly eyes. I just hate the way he bullies people. Willow, get on the computer. I want you to take another password access in the mouse files. Okay. <laughs> well. How did it go? Princess Margaret here had a little trouble keeping up. It's just like fun, only boring. Faith, this evaluation is the necessary part of the council. I know. I'm on board here. Shoot my mouth off. Mmm. Yes, he's working for the mayor. I'm trying to access the mayor's personal files. Can you do that? Well, he's got some tricky barriers set up. Can you get past him? Eventually, I'll get through. That's very interesting. Yeah, I thought so too. Are you serious about this place? Of course I am. No slayer of mine's gonna live in a flea bag hotel. There are immoral liaisons going on there. Yeah, plus all the screwing. <laughs> we'll keep your. Thanks, sugar daddy. Now, Faith, I don't find that sort of thing amusing. I'm a family man. Now, let's kill your little friend. I wouldn't ask you to do it. Not this early in the relationship. Besides, I think a vampire attack would look less suspicious anyway. Some lucky girl has herself a PlayStation. No way. Yes way. <laughs> Weird. Oh, there's something about you that's causing me to hug. I don't even know what to think. No... The band. We had a gig in Monterey Sunday night. How come I didn't know? Maybe I would have liked to go. Didn't figure you for missing school. You think I'm boring? I call that a radical interpretation of the text. Listen, I thought we could get together today at lunch and go over your Roosevelt paper. What are you talking about? Me tutoring you. Your, your history paper? Oh, yeah, yeah. Snyder said you were going to do it. He never said that. Just meet me at lunch and... No, no, no. I don't have any time at lunch. i got to hang out. <laughs> i got to hang out. <laughs> you got something better to do? Just type it up and put my name on it. Ah, uh, what a bunch of shit. I'm eating this now. It's not lunchtime. I don't even care. Willow, did you remember to tape biography last Friday? Uh-huh. See, I told you. Old Reliable. Old Reliable? Yeah, great. There's a sexy nickname. <laughs> I, I didn't mean it as... No, it's fine. I'm old reliable. I think it's good to be reliable. Well, maybe I don't want to be reliable all the time. Maybe I'm not just some doormat person. Maybe I'll change my look or cut class. You don't know. <laughs> well, wait. I'm really sorry. Off. I'm storming off. It doesn't really work if you come with me. <laughs> I think that this episode is going to take some kind of radical turn. Uh, Let's see. Uh, uh -huh. Hi. Starting with her. Anya, I have this little project I'm working on, and I heard you were the person to ask if... Yeah, that's me. Reliable dog geyser person. What do you need? It's nothing big. Just a little spell I'm working on. A spell? Oh, I like the black arts. I just need a secondary to create a temporal fold. I heard you were pretty powerful Wicca, so... You heard right, mister. I I'm always ready to work some dark mojo. The necklace was a family heirloom passed down for generations, and it was stolen from my mom's apartment. And I pour the sacred sand on the representation of the necklace, and Arishan brings it forth from the time and place it was lost. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is this going to turn our world back Arishan, into that world? Arishan, hear my prayer. Oh. Oh no. What, what was that? It's not here. It's not here. Uh oh, okay. she in the other world? That's, that wasn't just some temporal fold. That was some weird hell place. I am just trying to find my necklace. Just try it again. And no, I, I think emphatically not. I can't do it by myself. That's a relief. I'm out of here. Fine. Go. M magic is dangerous, Anya. It's, it's not to be toyed with. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have someone else's homework to do. <laughs> In the other world? Nothing! <gasps> she disappeared. This is weird. Maybe we sucked her from that world over to the normal world. Oh, that is what we did. Like right over here. Right here. Somehow. We don't really know why that happened, but. Excuse me. There's a chair. Oh, she's gonna go to the which I go deal with Oz. Hey, Rosenberg? 
What are you doing, trick-or-treating? You're supposed to be at home doing my history report. I flunked that class, you're in big trouble, Snyder. Bored now. No. Oh, oh, I'm having a terrible night. Wanna make it better? Back off! Stay the hell away from her. Sure. <laughs> Sander. Well, changing the look, not an idle threat with you. You're alive. Uh, well, this is verging on naughty touching here. Don't want to fall back on bad habits. Hands, hands in new places. You're alive. You mentioned that before. Ah, uh, she knows. Really alive. Everything's different. Why don't you get introduce me to your holy god, your willow? <laughs> you. You know what? I, I like the look. It, it 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 looks good. You know, it's This a, is wild. This is so cool. And uh I said extreme already, right? I don't like you. Well, I'm sorry about today. You, you really didn't have to prove anything. Leaving now. Well, gotta say, not loving the new you. Well, wait. <laughs> Get off of me. <laughs> Whoa. So they know she's a vamp, but they know she's not really Willow, maybe, too. Willow Rosenberg. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Then we won't talk. You made me cranky. There's been a mistake here. We were sent after a human. Really? Who do you work for? I'm not telling you a thing. Oh! Oh. Who do you work for? Wilkins, the mayor. Oh! Who do you work for? You. Get your friends. Bring them here. The world's no fun anymore. We're gonna make it the way it was. Oh, shit. So the mayor sent them to Come kill up, Willow? Or get Willow? What is it? This isn't real. I can't feel anything. She was truly the finest of all of us. It's me. I'm the one that called her reliable. She must have gone out and gotten attacked, which she never would have done if I hadn't called her reliable. And now my best friend is... What's going on? Jeez, ah. who died? Oh, God, who died? Back! Get back, demon! <laughs> I love you guys too. Oxygen becoming an issue. <laughs> Charles, what's going on with these? Oh. Say, you all didn't happen to do a bunch of drugs, did you? <laughs> a vampire. I'm not a vampire. Charles, planning on jumping in with an explanation anytime soon? Something um, very strange is happening. Can you believe the Watchers Council let this guy go? <laughs> Something very strange is happening. Give me a beer. I do. I'm 1120 years old. Just give me a freaking beer. I do. Give me a Coke. Hey, man. You looking for Buffy? As always. Oh, they don't give a fuck. That doesn't look good. Everybody, shut up! Did he cause any trouble or try to leave and nobody gets hurt? Why don't I believe him? Well, he lacks credibility. <laughs> Can you get out of here? Skylight in the roof. I think we need some backup. I think I'm needed here. Yeah, what's he gonna think? Everyone's all afraid. It's just like old times. <laughs> get Buffy. Do it now. Check out your girlfriend. <laughs> what's your name? Sandy? You don't have to be afraid. If you're all good boys and girls, we'll make you young and strong forever and ever. We'll have fun. <laughs> wow. If you're not. <laughs> Questions? Comments? Cool. You don't want to do this. But I'm so good at it. I know you. You're a white hat. How come you're talking to me like we're friends? He thinks you're the willow that belongs in this reality. 
Another me? You know this isn't your world, right? I mean, you know you don't belong here. No. This is a dumb world. In my world, there are people in chains and we can ride them like ponies. <laughs> you want to get back there? Yeah. So do I. Wow! This is creepy. That's exactly you, Will. Every detail. Except for you're not being a dominatrix, as far as we know. Oh, right. Me and Oz play Mistress of Pain every night. <laughs> Did anyone else just go to a scary visual place? Oh, yeah. Something's happened that Willow's dead. Hey, Willow. <laughs> Stupid. Wait a second. Okay. Uh, she's there now with a cadre of vampires looking to party. What are we going to do with me? The other me? We just have to stop him. Oh. Hey, uh, uh, go. I I'll catch up. What's she going to do? Alone <gasps> well, look at me. I'm all fuzzy. What do I want with you? Uh, your little school friend Anya said that you're the one that brought me here. She said that you could get me back to my world. Oh, oops. But I don't know. I kind of like the idea of the two of us. We could be quite a team. Uh. If you came around to my way of thinking, would that mean we have to snuggle? <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> Want to be bad? This just can't get more disturbing. <laughs> no more! You're really starting to freak me out. <laughs> you don't want to play. Guess I can't force you. Wait. <laughs> she wants to get it on with herself. <laughs> Bitch. It's horrible. That's me as a vampire. I'm so evil and skanky. <laughs> kind of gay. The vampire's personality has nothing to do with the person it was. Well, actually, it's a good point. Uh, what do we do now? Uh, what? So what was he gonna say? Well, even if they're supposed to wait for her, they may start feeding. A vampire's not notoriously reliable. I have a really bad idea. Are you okay in that? It's a little binding. Just look at those. Um, uh, Willow, you you, uh, you go in <laughs> and uh, diffuse the situation as best you can. Uh, at least try and get some of them to come out and even up the odds a bit. First sign of trouble, you give us a signal. We come in hard and fast. What is the signal? He's screaming. Now she's got to act like herself, acting like the evil one. That's really funny. What an acting stretch this is. She's got to try to act like... <laughs> Yeah, she does it. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> no good. Did you find the girl? Yep, I did. <laughs> Where is she? I killed her and sucked her blood, as we vampires do. <laughs> Very funny. You know, I think maybe I heard something out there. Why don't you go check? <laughs> She's gonna try to do them one by one, send them out. How, how could you kill her? She was our best shot at getting your world back. I don't like that you dare question me. <laughs> Maybe I'll have my minions take you out back and kill you horribly. Vampires always thinking with your teeth. She bothered me. She's always oh, letting cool. people walk all over her, and, and then she gets cranky with her friends for no reason. I just couldn't let her live. You know, he's been gone for a while. Why don't you go check on him? <laughs> this is so funny. Why don't we get with the killing? Oh, no. She's got her in her clothes. <laughs> She's going to be disgusted. Oh, this is like a nightmare. <laughs> Hello, Giles? Oh no! They just happened to stop by. What the fuck? They didn't leave anyone to guard her? Hey, you. Uh, Cordelia. Let me out. Because I'm so helpless. <laughs> okay. How'd you manage to lock yourself in, anyway? Uh, I was looking at books. I like books. Because I'm shy. Yeah, right. The famous shy girl act. Open the cage. Wait. 
It occurs to me that we've never really had the opportunity to talk. Don't want to talk. Hungry. What could we talk about? <gasps> How about the ethics of boyfriend stealing? Interesting. I don't know. I'm so bored. <sighs> <laughs> It would be like shooting fish in a barrel. Where's the fun? The fun would be the eating. Maybe we should let everyone go and give them a 30-second head start. Nice try. Okay, let's get to the killing. Why don't we start with her? Uh, why don't we start with you? If she's a vampire, then I'm the creature from the Black Lagoon. She figured it out. It isn't even like I was that attracted to Xander. It was more just that we kept being put in these life or death situations and that's always all sexy and stuff i mean what do i have something on my neck not yet <laughs> I'm getting a zit uh, cordelia i'm very sorry i realized i was wrong i'll never steal your boyfriend again like you could you will just have to think of a way to pay me back sometime. Okay. How about dinner? Wow! I didn't mean all that stuff I said before. I want you to have Xander. My blessings on you both! I'm so over him. I need fresh blood. Oh, yeah! No more hiding. Back, creature of the night! Leave this place! Don't wanna. Whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, no. A little on edge. Uh, these two might hook up. You saved my life. Thank you. Oh, what's that? They got Willow. Uh. So are you doing anything tonight? So tired of being around human beings and all their baggage. I, I don't care if I ever get my powers back. I think he should eat you. This girl has a history of mental problems dating back to early childhood. I'm a blood sucking fiend. Look at my outfit. I'm a human. <laughs> I should have smelled it right away. A human? Oh, yeah. Could a human do this? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think, yeah. <laughs> Could you would do this? It's a real comedic episode. Devin, come on! So funny. No more snuggles? <laughs> no more snuggles. Why didn't we want Faith? Because she's underage? Are they gonna stake Willow? Bad Willow. Mommy, no! Nice reflexes. Well, I work out. This world's no fun. You notice that too? <laughs> Are they gonna send her back? In your reality, I'm like this badass vampire, huh? People afraid of me? Oh, yeah. I'm bad. Not sure about releasing this thing into the wild, Will. It is a demon. I just can't kill her. I know she's not me. We have a big nothing in common, but still. There but for the grace of getting bit. We send her back to her world, and she stands a chance. It's the way it should be, anyway. We're about ready here. All right. Don't you try any tricks now, dear. Look how different she when looks. I get my powers back, you will all grovel before me. Good <sighs> uh, uh, luck. Try not to kill people. <laughs> hands! Hands! Just grab her butt. She wanted to get it on with herself. Uh, uh. 
That was terrible. You want to go out tonight? Strangely, I feel like staying at home and doing my homework and flossing and dying a virgin. <laughs> you know, you can OD on virtue. Between me and my evil self, I have double guilt coupons. I see now where the path of vice leads. Because <laughs> she messed up everything she touched. I don't ever want to be like that. Hey. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Listen, I didn't have a chance. OK, so I did the outline. It turns out there were two President Roosevelt's, so I did both. And I know they're kind of short, but um, I can flesh them out. Oh, and, and here's the bibliography. <laughs> And I could retype that if you want. Uh. You want to go out tonight? Nine sound good? Ah, I knew they were going. All right. Well, that was pretty hilarious, I got to say. I really liked that. It was funny, 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 funny. You know, it really kind of, I like, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it really kind of showcased... Willa, who, I forget what Willa's actress's name is, but showcased her acting ability, and it was just really funny, because I loved her evil Willow in that episode. Maybe that, they might have even brought her back, because people might have liked that so much. That was really hilarious, and they really made it kinky and weird when she was, like, licking people's necks and, like, licking Willow's neck. And kind of wanting to, she was like, snuggles? <laughs> Want no more snuggles? No more snuggles? That was just too much. And then when they had to, she had to pretend to be good Willow, had to pretend to be bad evil Willow. And then evil Willow had to pretend to be good Willow. That was really great. So great. That must have been so fun for her to do that. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't have a lot to say about it, I guess. Except, I guess, the only in other, besides it being hilarious. And then they send her back and she, right to the moment, right before she dies. So that was kind of a bummer. But I guess the other thing, just kind of faith. Yeah, the big movement was faith. You know, I'm surprised that, that you know, I mean, on one hand, they were going to, I mean, kind of would want, like to watch the end of the last one again because... I guess they just decided what we're, we'll just work with her and be her friend and she'll come back around. I guess she's not being a double agent. She doesn't seem like she is. The mayor set her up with this killer place. And there was like a moment of hesitation. Where she goes, okay, let's kill your friend, but maybe not so soon. I won't make you do it. And she was going to sugar daddy the mayor. And then the mayor was like, I'm a family man. I'm, I don't do that. This is getting really dirty, this show. Really naughty. The mayor's like, okay, I don't do that. And then he was like, well, let's kill your friend. But don't worry. I wouldn't ask this soon into the relationship. I wouldn't ask you to do it. So they were going to kill. But then they went to kill Willow. The vampires. I kind of assumed that they were talking about killing Buffy. But maybe they were just going to kind of one by one get get the gang or get Willow and then get Buffy by getting Willow or who knows. They didn't really, well, they want to get Willow. Why would they want to get Willow? Just because she has witch powers now? I don't know. It's pretty interesting though. And then she does have this new pad that the mayor set her up with, Faith. And they just, yeah, they just sort of got her back. I guess they're just working with her i guess the uh these things happen sometimes as they said about the murder the, you know every, you know giles said look stuff like this happened before you know it doesn't have to be a you know you're on the front lines accidents happen and that's kind of really what faith was saying but they seem to just be back at her it's just got her back there you know training with wesley and stuff Oh, and we didn't really see how Wesley and Cordelia ended up. They seem like they're going to get together. But they also were calling her jailbait. <laughs> so Cordelia must be 17 or something. So it's going to be weird if they hook them up. But they're definitely kind of moving in that direction. Let's see. Well, I don't know. That was great, though. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of movement in the bigger picture, so I'm not going to say anything else, I guess. 
they spent a lot of time kind of setting it up and then it, once it started it started anyway it was really good <laughs> all right like subscribe comment and if you like full reactions the link to my patreon is down below and i'm just gonna do another one i think i might do watch a few of these in a row and put them on patreon so all right well see you next time bye